Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Server Play. This is Scoots42. Uh, I've been pretty busy. Um, let's see. I did uh, kind of rearrange uh, this building a little bit. Uh, I've got our box up here in the ceiling, uh, which is letting me spread the power out a little bit. As you can see, I've got uh, a laser coming off of the top here, coming out to our farmer. I wanted to check on this real quick. That's what I was afraid of. It's like we might have to expand our farm a little bit. But it looks like this might actually finally be catching up to us. So I think it may actually... How's that doing? That's doing pretty good. I think we may finally be getting to a uh, point where it, it's finally starting to uh, create a surplus again. And I think it might be a real good idea real quick uh, to try to help this out a little bit. I'm going to see if we have any bones in here somewhere. Sure we do. There we go. And this, I think, is going to help a little bit. Uh, we're, we're just going to bone meal uh, some of these and get a stack or two. Oh, oh, what is going on? I am on fire. <laughs> Good times. Well, let's just see what we can get with this bone meal here. Oh, exciting things happening on the server all the time. So let's pop a stack of canola in there, and we'll pop the rest of this in here. And I'm thinking... that this may just be what we need. Because these guys, I believe, those are full, and that is full. So I think we might be okay in here. I thought I saw something there for a second. All right, so you guys can see what I've done here in the meantime. Um, but what you should also see is uh, I found a village. I'll see if I can bring it up on the map here. We might have to go outside. There we go. No? Show me the daytime, perhaps? There we go. Uh, down here to the south, I kind of took off looking for some stuff. And I found another village uh, down here to the south. And uh, they actually had some really awesome uh, villager trades. Oh, I was afraid I saw a creeper in here. There we go. And I actually got enough uh, emeralds that I was able to craft a total of three of these guys. So, let's work on getting this uh, swapped out. I think it might be better if we did it. Uh, let's go take a nap here real quick. I'm thinking it'll be it'll just be easier for us 
uh, if we attack this from the top of the building. Let's see. Let me grab a little something or other here. There we go. Did I make enough cards? I did. I couldn't remember if I'd made uh, three cards or not. Because we do need uh, those uh, cards, and I'll, I'll show you those here in just a second. You can see I've got... Now, this basic setup is going to stay the same. Uh, but we are going to break this. And I think... There we go. We should be able to put this in here. And we're going to set all sides to input. And just to help this out a little bit, I'm going to pop this all back on here. And what that should do is help fill this up uh, a lot faster. And then we'll have a nice little battery. Uh, we can pop this guy back down. And I probably forgot to grab a wrench. So we'll need to uh, grab our wrench again here. move those signs up a little bit to make it easier for me to get into those chests. There we go. Now we can have a nice little staircase up there for a minute. There we go. Now you're getting power again. And what I think I'm going to do is instead of transferring the power with these relays over here, see if we can get back down here without killing ourselves. And we'll take care of that in just a minute. Oh, you know what we did forget to do? I forgot to put these, uh, I forgot to put a card in there. So that module is installed, and I should be able to link these. So those both should have link ID 1, and you are almost full. And this device is holding a million RF. And if I'm right, I, I honestly, I don't know. I, I've only used these a couple times before, but I'm thinking I should be able to go ahead and get rid of this stuff too. I plan on having this stuff in a separate building, including our old friend the Atomic Reconstructor. So we should be able to get this all filled back in and looking pretty. I don't have any dirt on me right now, but trust me, we will uh, come back and fill all this in. Uh, and simply, all we really need to do is take one of these, and what we should see now is a total of 2 million RF that can be held. If you see there, and I was hoping that that would be the case. Because each one of these holds a million, and I, now what I don't know is what's going to happen uh, when I put this link card in. Will it go up to 3 million? And it does. That is fantastic. All right. So now uh, we have a good way, I think, to move power around. Do I have any flux ducts? I do. So let's see uh, what kind of trouble we can get into uh, moving these flux ducts around. Let's see. I think right here I'd like to have my smelter. 
this is an induction smelter. Uh, I made this uh, in between episodes, a few episodes ago. And believe it or not, I uh, had to make it to make these leadstone flux ducts. And I even had to uh, resurrect the old, uh, where's our reconstructor and the crusher? There they are. I had to resurrect uh, the old quartz grindstone, uh, mainly because, see, I think we can get away with putting this right here. And I think I'm going to want the crusher right here. Uh, so hopefully what we'll be able to do, uh, just, uh, what I needed was some, uh, what do you call it, crushed obsidian. And the crusher <laughs> uh, just wouldn't do it. And do we have a button? We do. And I think we're almost there. Some of that dirt there. And I'll go and grab some dirt here in just a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll leave that open for now because I'm probably going to end up putting another machine that needs power right over there. So I don't think it's going to hurt anything to leave that there. We can get that covered back up. And this can get covered back up. And I just happen to have some cobble. <laughs> There we go. What's up there? Is my laser up there? Well, I think that's worth going after. There we go. Alright. I still need to put a ceiling. I don't know why I'm so terrible about forgetting to put the ceilings in here. I think we've got some cobble on us, so let's let's go ahead and get this in real quick. See, it's not really that hard. I just, I don't know why I uh, forget to do it. And it looks like I have not lit this building up yet either, so we'll take care of that real quick as well. But I think uh, it might be a good idea. There we go. That'll work for now. Uh, I think it's going to be a good idea to work on getting uh, some more power going. Let's take a look and see how these guys are doing now. Yeah, it took a lot of power to fill that all up. You can see it's still filling up. Let's see, maybe eat a little snack. I'm thinking it may not be a bad idea uh, to get another press and another barrel. The only question is, where do we actually want to set them up? But one thing at a time, because uh, we're probably going to want another farm as well, is kind of what I'm thinking. That's why I've got this uh, nice area cleared out back here. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you guys remember, I used to have uh, my oak tree farm uh, right back here, and I, I've kind of moved it all over here. And I may end up uh, moving this whole tree farm area again, uh, depending on if I need more power. So I'm thinking what we're going to want to do is let's see what it's going to take uh, to get another farmer. See if we have the stuff to do it. Oh yeah, I think we can do that. Some quartz sticks and iron. And this has been working out really, really well. And we've already got an Anori crystal. Or an uh, Anori crystal block. So that was nice. Let's see here. Let's, I got a bunch of stuff that we need to uh, take care of. You know what else wouldn't uh, hurt today? Uh, if we can get this 
uh, power taken care of is uh, I think it would be a great idea go ahead and get this in here as we're going to need a fair amount of iron uh, if we're going to start doing this kind of stuff again uh, but it might be a good idea for us to get some kind of a powered furnace as well uh, that would help out Uh, I think that would help out with the uh, ore processing. We got uh, plenty of stuff uh, that needs to get processed. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, running after lava all the time is not my idea of a good time. Uh, so let's get some of this iron here. Did I already get some? No. All right, so we're going to need three more blocks. Let's get some of this stuff put up while we're at it. And we're going to need to use the uh, atomic reconstructor after a little nap. Seems like that's how I spend most of my episodes now, is taking naps. <laughs> kind of like real life. Let's see. Oh, you know, it might help if I put those into block form first. And I guess we don't have to. Come on and get in there. <laughs> there we go. I think that'll give us at least three blocks. Sure it will. Is it three or... Yeah, yeah, because we're going to need a uh, machine frame of some kind. There's our blocks of iron. Now we have four blocks of Inori crystal. It's great. I'm kind of liking how the space design is working out. Uh, I kind of, I may end up doing something else with this building. I, I may have to move it just a tiny bit. Uh, I haven't really decided if it's worth all that trouble yet, though. But I, I, it is something I'm considering. Uh, so let's see. We need an iron casing, uh, which shouldn't be a problem. And we need some seeds. Let's see. Let's just grab a little bit of the seeds. And that hopefully will give us another farmer. Yay. We should let's see let's leave a little bit of space here two three four five I think we'll want to put it right there and oh you know I should have left that laser or I should have I should have grabbed that laser wrench <laughs> I should have grabbed that laser I should have grabbed the wrench for the lasers how about that Sorry, guys, I, I just woke up a little bit ago, so uh, I, I'm not uh, quite all here yet. I did find uh, I went uh, mining in the nether, uh, going after some cobalt, uh, and I did find a nether fortress uh, that I was able to successfully plunder. Uh, it was nothing short of miraculous that I managed to live through it. All right, so there's that guy, and what we can do is if we grab ourselves uh, some of the seeds out of this here and you guys can see what I've done here uh, I uh, put some of these item ducts between this crate and this press but I think I have a slightly different idea about how to start moving these so if I put these seeds in here you're not getting any power. Why Why are you getting no power? Did I not? Oh, you know what? <laughs> I probably forgot how to hook this back up. No, I didn't. Oh. Oh, you know what? You know what I forgot to do? Hmm. Now this I'm not used to. Hmm. 
What happens if I set that to none? Nothing. Let's set that. See, that's the problem. Is it sets all sides to? Can I change one side at a time? Let me go grab one of my other wrenches, because uh, this uh, laser wrench is only good for uh, the laser relays. Let's grab this guy. And let's see if we can use that to change one of the sides, hopefully. I don't know if it's possible, so we may have to figure something else out for that. Okay, I think that did the trick. Yeah, that looks like it totally did the trick. Oh, thank God. That saved me a lot of trouble. So we should still see that side is input. So I think that's working. I think that's I think that's working the way it should be. Outstanding. Let's see, you're still getting. Hmm. Okay. So we've got a second farm which is good. So we'll let that cook for a minute or two. And we're going to come back over here and work on getting another press and probably a couple more barrels. Let's see. Need a little bit of canola. We're going to need some Estonia crystals and some black quartz. Let's just go ahead and take that, and we'll take that. And looks like we'll need a little bit of gold, too. one Inori crystal. I don't have any, so we'll get some of these Inori crystals here. And let's get another press. And I forgot to grab some canola, of course. That should give us our second press. And I think we might be able to get away. Hmm. See how I want to do this. What if. I wonder if I can get away with putting this right here. Let's try it. And I thought that might be the case. I don't know if it should be, um, but I've noticed that these lasers actually kind of work all the way around. So this one laser here is actually powering this as well. And what we can do is I might be able to come up with a little bit more uh, of those item ducts. Let me see if I've got any more, because uh, I did make a, f a few of them. This might be, here we go. Well, those are flux ducts. Where's the item ducts? There we go. Uh, the only other thing we'll probably need is a servo. And we might be able to get away with doing this pretty cheap. I need a couple of iron nuggets and some glass. Let's see. No iron nuggets in there, really? Yeah, I thought we had some in there. There they are. Pull those gold nuggets out, too, see if we can't use those today. And we'll grab some glass. And now we should be able to get a servo. There we go. So we 
I should be able to do something like this. Do I have canola seeds on me? I do, good. Uh, and then uh, we will need to put a servo here and we're going to blacklist you from the seeds and set you to always active. Hmm. And what I don't know, we may need to help this along. We'll give this a second. I don't know. I haven't had the best luck uh, with these item ducks. They they don't. They're great, and I do like them. Uh, but I've noticed that they're not quite as smart as, say, the Ender I.O. transfer cables. So I think uh, we may need to let me see how many blaze rods was I able to get. I got just enough to make one Ender chest, so I'll have to go after some more of that stuff. So I think we may need to, again, kind of help out. We'll just go ahead and use the rest of these bones. I'm sure that uh, getting bones won't be much of a problem. There we go. And let's just uh, get ourselves another stack of this canola real quick. This should give us at least a stack. Oh, don't eat it. We've been through this before. Let's see if we can't get a stack in here to help us out. And I may end up, uh, and I, uh, by may, I mean, uh, I more than likely will be rearranging all of this stuff. Yeah, make it look a little prettier. Uh, basically, what I like to do is come up with the uh, function first. I like to make sure that, you know, my basic idea is going to function, uh, which this will function. Um, but I'm going to want it to uh, look pretty as well. But most importantly, I need it. Uh, to work well. So I think, like for instance, what I think would work better, now it's not going to look as great, uh, but I think it would work better if I trade this out a little bit and did something like this. My pickaxe go. There it is. So if I trade this and did this instead, now what I think will happen is when we get canola, let's see if we have any in here. Let's take some of this and we can kind of test this theory a little bit. If I pop this canola in here, we should see it, hopefully, yeah, it wants to go there first. I think that's the problem with this, is it's going to want to fill one of these up first before it starts trying to fill up the other one. So I don't know what we'll be able to do about that. Uh, aside from just making sure we have a ridiculous abundance uh, of the canola. Which, honestly, may be something we do. Uh, that could very well happen. Hmm. But I think we're doing okay on power. Our power is full. I think we're okay on that for now. Uh, so I, I would dare to say, let's see, are you, you're probably not getting power anymore though. 
is the only problem with that. And you are not. Oh, you are. Wondering if it's because I have this. So this is taking power directly from here is what it's looking like. Which is not exactly what I wanted. Hmm. So I think uh, we'll work on that. We will definitely be working on this and how it's laid out. We, we may employ some more lasers or some uh, flux ducts of some kind. Uh, but I think it would be a good idea uh, also to get maybe another farmer. Let's see. I've got two blocks of iron here. Need about there we go. Plus four. Like that. There's those. Uh, let's run over to the machine room. And I'm kind of liking how this is working out. Let's get another farmer going. One of those. I'm missing sticks, really? Hmm. Okay. Sure I am. sticks out of here. Iron casing. Need a couple more seeds, huh? probably want some more of the energy relays while we're at it. I might not have enough obsidian. We do not. Uh, we will need to get a little bit more obsidian really quick. Now, of course, uh, I'm not sure exactly how quick this will really be. Especially since uh, we've got a bunch of stuff going in the smeltery. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. So hopefully we'll be able to get a few uh, blocks of obsidian made real quick. that for a moment. I'm loving how quick this turns into obsidian now. Whoa. That was uh, slightly uncalled for, I think. I don't understand why we can't all be friends.
Well, this is uh, turning into an unintentionally long episode. But I really want to get our uh, power situation stabilized. And now the, the real uh, trouble is, is uh, I basically have no more bone meal. Should be able to kick you back on. Sunrise at 7.27, huh? That's interesting. So, let's grab our last little piece of obsidian out of here. We should be able, hopefully, to get some more of these energy laser relays going. Need a couple blocks of redstone. Oh, that's all I need, a couple blocks of redstone. Well, that should be fairly simple. I think that's the easiest uh, thing I've had to do today. Let's see. Energy laser relay needs this guy. We'll probably need something, I'm sure. Well, I think this is the easiest <laughs> time I've had today. That is good news. All right. So we should be able to just pop an energy laser relay onto the next farmer. Uh, put some... See if we have enough room. I don't know that we do. So we may need to come over this way. Oh, I see you there, buddy. Oh, I think we're going to have just enough room to make this happen. Let me count that again to make sure here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's going to go right there. Put an energy laser relay here. Now, what I don't know is if this will. Oh, wrong wrench. How about that one? There we go. These might be too far away. Oh, come on. Really? It is too far away. So we can kind of combat this a little bit. And let's see. We need one about right there. And we should be able to connect these now. Yeah. And then this guy can come over here. All right. So uh, these, let's see. Let's get rid of those for a second. Uh, this should have plenty of seeds in it. I don't think we have any shortage of those. So if I get you going... Yeah, there we go. We're actually going to want a few more seeds, I think. Do I have more on? No. Well, let's grab a few more. This does a 9x9 nine nine area. And let's kind of give this a... There we go. So there should be one more that will end up getting planted right there. And right there. There we go. And we will most likely uh, be able to transfer this stuff with item lasers. Uh, kind of like we've done with this guy. It'll be a little, uh, little bit trickier, I think. See, I don't remember exactly how I did that. Is that just a hopper? Yeah, that's just a hopper down there. So this may not be that bad. I don't have enough item ducks to make it all the way there. So what we may do... Hmm. I'm going to try something really quick that I think might work.
and we'll be able to fill that back in in just a minute. But I wanted to, let's go make a hopper real quick and see if we can turn these into item laser relays. We might do that first. Let's turn these into the item laser relays. Fluids and items. We may need another item interface. In fact, I'm just going to save us the time and let's see if we can get one of those. Let's uh, get some of our stuff put up here. I don't remember exactly what we need, so we will probably end up getting some of this stuff back out. Would not surprise me one bit. I think that'll work for now. So let's see what we needed for another item interface. Well, that's not horrible. We might need to make some more of the uh, Restonia crystals. What else did we need? Some black quartz, probably. Yep. So we'll need some black quartz. Restonia crystals and a little bit of redstone, it looked like. Well, let's make a hopper real quick because we're also going to need some chests. So let's see if we've got some chests in here. We do. And let's go get ourselves some Restonia crystals. Maybe heat a little bit and then I think we'll be able to call this an episode if we can get this uh, transfer to work. Just get a stack of them. There we go. Hmm. I think I think it might. We might be better off. Hmm. Is there anything in here? No. Oh, you know what I could see is in here? I think I'm forgetting. That's what it was. I was using a sprinkler before, and those don't seem to be a thing in this pack. Hmm. What is this? Mob filters. Hmm. Well, that looks easy enough to make. But anyway, uh, let's continue as planned. I think that might be the smart thing to do. And I probably forgot to make a hopper. Because I'm silly like that. not make the item interface. I don't think I actually made it. Let's see, we need four of those. Four of them, please. There we go. Item interface. Check. And we've got our lasers. Still no canola in there. Now we can put this guy here. <coughs> Excuse me. And 
these should be close enough together. Yeah. I guess I didn't need to dig that up after all. I thought I was going to do something else there for a second. But then I remembered that we were going to have trouble without using those item interfaces to do this. And let's go ahead and see if we can't get that watering can made and see if we can uh, help these guys out a little bit. I think I had a bowl in here. Yeah. Watering can. Oh, that needs actual stone. Does it need polished stone? Can't be serious. Andesite. Okay, just any stone, basically. So that's actually pretty doable. For a second, I thought it wanted polished stone. I was like, oh, that's that's it. out of the question. Oh, excuse me. And let's uh, get this out of the way, too, before it drives me completely bonkers. Wow. <laughs> uh, these pressure plates in the doors, I, I love them, but I hate them. You know, a little of both. And we should, hopefully. Oh, you know. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that. One, two, three, four, and five. Wow. Totally forgot. Uh, to give these guys some water, which might be why it's struggling a little bit. Unbelievable. Well, let's get this guy a little bit of water. And let's fill you up while we're here. Now, uh, for those of you that have never used a watering can before, uh, you just want to kind of hold down the right mouse click button uh, while you're uh, holding that can over some water and let's see if we can that might be why they're having a hard time growing over here well and it's nighttime so I doubt it's going to want to grow let's see and I didn't put any over here either I don't think That's unbelievable. Crazy, crazy stuff. I get so excited with these builds sometimes and I forget how to do some basic, simple things. Unbelievable. There we go. Let's get those uh, poppies out of there. Really? You want to help my canola farm out? You're going to drop your bones? Huh? Yeah. You think of that, buddy? You're going to help whether you like it or not. All right. That might get us a piece of canola over here. Yeah, it did. Let's see. Can I drop you in here? I put you right there yeah oh that is working good good so we'll be able to do something similar uh, with the other one let's see you have no canola you're getting all the canola wow how are you on power well you're still getting you're still full on power so not going to complain a whole lot. What, what's really kind of bugging me, though, I mean, I guess it's not taking any power right now, but uh, I'll have to kind of rearrange how we do things, because I don't want this guy taking power straight from the generator, because that it's going to make this generator run, you know, like all the time. Usually, uh, by running this through some kind of a powered buffer, uh, in this case the power cell from RF Tools, 
Uh, it kind of gives us a little bit of a break. I think... Let's turn this last... I think I just got an idea about how to do this. Let's turn this last... Uh, lay back into a energy laser and I think that'll let us do what I want. We're going to have to fill in the uh, void underneath of our base here. Let's see. I should be able. We're basically going to move this over here. And I think that will take the power from both of them. I think. Come here. There you go. And that means that... Should be able to put you there. That could have been part of the issue, too. Hmm. We should have been connecting this up at the top up here, which I should have been doing. And I don't think it'll be too big of a deal because uh, it should connect up here just fine. Too far away? Can't be too far away. Probably something in the way. There we go. I think we're just barely going to get away with that looking okay. And, but we are going to run into the problem. Hmm. 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 Let's see. This is going to be a super long episode. Well, I think I'm going to work on this a little bit more between episodes, uh, just so I don't have to make you guys suffer uh, while I'm trying to figure this stuff out. Let's get that back up there. So that should be just like it was, basically. Well, we're totally full. And now you're not getting power. Wow. It just seems like no matter how I try to route this... Well, I think I should probably leave well enough alone for now. Let's just put that right there. And I say that, but I, of course, can't do it. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do at all. That's why we don't take shortcuts, kids. We'll try one more thing uh, before we wrap up today, and hopefully this will... Okay. <laughs> Gonna be like that, huh? And it's because my inventory is full. Are you kidding me? Wow, nothing is working out for me today. There we go. Yay, I can do this. Sort of.
finally. But hopefully that's still outputting. So I should be able to put that there now. And you, if you go here, should power both of those guys, hopefully. And we can probably, even though it won't be the prettiest, do something like that. All right, so everybody now is getting power like they're supposed to. And that should be... Wish we had a little bit of canola to test that out with. But I think we'll go ahead and end this, uh, what is now an hour-long episode, uh, here. And uh, I'll work on this a little bit more between now and the next episode. And hopefully I'll have this all straightened out and looking pretty. So uh, thanks for stopping by today, guys. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And take care.